I don't think a lot, I think a lot of people are up now. They're all hashtag I am up. Of course, come and check it out here. So I saw them Saturday. I'm kicking these shoes off. But I may keep the pantyhose on. It does yeah. feel kind of good, well, actually. Right. Good luck, I'm okay. not going to pee in them, I promise. Okay. Sit it back in the studio. <laughs>
Now, on a serious note, needless to say, Marjorie Taylor Greene is laughing that off because she knows that kids can't be indoctrinated into the LGBTQ plus lifestyle. You can't become gay or trans by being exposed to it. It's not contagious. And if it were possible to indoctrinate kids into this lifestyle by, by making it look alluring, we would not have any gay or trans people because all you see in media is straight and cis people. I mean, that's changing currently, but like growing up as a child, I didn't even know that gay people existed. I didn't know what that was, but yet I still grew up to be more queer than a $3 bill. So it doesn't work that way. And Marjorie Taylor Greene, she knows that it doesn't work that way. And I understand that she's a huge moron. So it's it's reasonable to assume that she really does believe the bullshit that she's spewing. But she's smart enough to at least know that that's not the way that kids become gay. They don't become drag queens or queer or trans by being exposed to a drag queen who's reading them a book. That's not the way that it works. But the reason why conservatives often default to this argument is because the think of the kids argument is used as a pretense for their bigotry. And uh, it's because it's easier to digest, right? Most people, I think, don't care about what adults do with their lives. But if you cloak your concern for think of the kids, that actually is a lot more marketable, politically speaking. Her hatred for queer people, it doesn't stem from a concern for kids, though. It stems from her ignorance and prejudiced views. She is a hateful bigot. She doesn't care about kids. And the reason why she attacks queer people and drag queens is because she is a Christian nationalist. And queer people just don't have a role in her vision for the ideal society. So even though she's obviously a dishonest actor and her concern trolling about the kids being indoctrinated is bullshit. It still doesn't make her any less of a hypocrite. So if Marjorie Taylor Greene cares as much about stopping the LGBTQ plus menace as much as she says she does, then I think it's obvious that she should break up with her groomer boyfriend immediately because to remain with him makes her complicit, does it not? And again, we're talking about complicit by her own standards. Because if she stays with him, then she's as complicit as the Republicans who she claimed were too tolerant, which led to, you know, drag queen story are being accepted. So, yeah, she's a hypocrite, but that isn't surprising to anyone.